Hi, baby dad. This is how you do it. This amount of plant might need some pruning, but I gotta take care of something else today. Now, we acquired this outdoor setting not long ago and it took about a week from order to delivery. And in that time, the plan was to restain the deck while it was empty and clear of anything on it. I didn't do it, so I gotta do it today. And now, I kinda have two ways to go about removing this table and this box full of Jordan's play stuff. Uh, one is, be, is dismantling all of this partially and removing it, or two, bring a friend, move it off the deck. But then I had a third idea, which kind of seemed more interesting and more fun. Now it seems more interesting and fun in my mind, but how it's gonna work out in actual application, let's find out. I've got more rigging gear than I do friends in the area, so I thought I'd put this to use and let's see how this goes. We are hanging. Time to sweep. All right, so while the deck dries, gotta run to Bunnings to get some more of this stuff because I don't think there's enough. got the deck stainer. It says here, replace furniture after seven days. I don't think my furniture is gonna hang there for seven days. Okay, so I did the two coats last night. Second coat, I was I did apply in the middle of the night, so I couldn't really see you very well. I've also put down some material onto the deck and lowered the furniture down onto it because I wasn't gonna have it hanging this whole time. Now the canister did say wait seven days before putting furniture down, but hopefully the material might spread out some of the weight and isn't gonna do anything to the stain. Otherwise I might have to do another coat and if I have to do that, I'll probably actually remove the furniture off the deck and put it out onto the grass and leave it off for seven days. Now, do I regret not doing that in the first place? No, not at all. I wanted to use rigging to help me complete a task and that's what I did, so no regrets, only lessons. I'd do it again, it was fun. So I mentioned in the previous video that I was gonna talk about why I'm doing these vlogs in this video um, and this is that part now. Now I have a need to be creative and to constantly improve my skill. Being a stunt man that would obviously mean getting together with a bunch of stunt performers and filming action sequences, fights, etc. Now the thing about getting a group of stunt performers together on a regular basis at one place 
It's not the easiest thing in the world. Everybody has their own schedules, family commitments. I have a family, so I need to spend time with them. So my free time doesn't always coincide with everyone else's free time, which is fair enough. But I still need to create. Because if I don't, after a while, my headspace starts to change and not really for the better. So why not make videos of myself and what's happening around me? I started doing this on Instagram stories, the idea for which I got from another Instagrammer who's a filmmaker. And his reasoning for making the videos was exactly what I was looking for, but just hadn't figured out for myself. Now, the beauty of stories is that you get 24 hours uh, lifespan for your videos. So if your video was good, people would have enjoyed it. If it's not so good, then it goes away and nobody has to remember it at all. Stories are also broken up into 15 second blocks which can be used as a tool to improve quick storytelling. And the thing about filming everyday subjects is that it forces you to try and come up with new ways of doing it every time so that it would keep the audience engaged and stop them from swiping away straight away. So after making stories for about a month almost daily a few people started telling me how much they enjoyed the videos but I should start making vlogs on YouTube because it was a shame that the videos would disappear after 24 hours. So after several attempts of convincing, here I am. And just like with Instagram stories, I have a few aims with this vlog. So the first one is committing to execute any creative ideas that I might have, rather than having an idea, thinking that would be cool to do, thinking about organizing to do it, until the idea just fades away. The second goal is to get better at storytelling that can engage an audience. Number three is that I want to improve my cinematography and editing. And my fourth goal really is to just be more comfortable speaking on camera because I can take a wreck and make you feel like I'm hurt all day long and it's fine. But get me to do lines and it's a bit like... You, 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 you want me to... what? what lines? That, I'm meant to remember lines. The other part is speaking on camera with people walking around and not caring what they actually think. This probably would have driven a better point if I was in a crowded area and not a field. And this is a better place to make the point of not caring about what other people think because I gotta remember that you are my audience and this videos are for the people who are watching it on their screen and so whatever people might be thinking about me, doesn't really matter. Essentially what it all stems down to is me using this platform to hone my skills to be able to bring you, the audience, some entertainment and or inspiration in any way, shape or form on here and in the film industry. So, hope you stick around. So now, how are these vlogs actually going to work and what's the format gonna be? I haven't got a clue at the moment. I haven't really figured that out, but I figured that if I spend time worrying about that before actually releasing any of the videos, then I probably wouldn't have gotten around to actually making any of the videos because I think that none of them are good enough or like the idea wasn't perfect enough that I need more time to figure out the perfect format and yet yeah, nothing would eventuate. So I figured just jump in the deep end straight away and at the moment I don't feel like I'm stumbling through the dark. It is more like trying to train in pitch black. But it'll slowly get there. So I'm just on the way to the gym at the moment for a staff meeting, even though I'm technically not a staff member as such. But I think I'm gonna call it on the vlog for today. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment on anything that you might have liked or would like to see and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos. Hope you have a good week. Bye.